welcome back to my channel. I'm Chloe and I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Today I am doing a fashion styling video for you today and it's going to be a wearable festival outfits video. So there's a lot going about at the moment, it's just been Coachella and we've all been lusting after what people have been up to and most importantly what people have been wearing. So I thought I'd put together my own festival lookbook. Now let me just mention something, I am not the type of person that would want to go to a festival for the music, for their muddiness or just for the general camping kind of vibe that you usually get at a festival. Not for me whatsoever. To go and wear cute outfits however, yes. And I always love to see what people are wearing to festivals, what the different trends are for each year. However, sometimes they can be a little bit outrageous and crazy. So I thought I would put together my own lookbook based on four outfits that you could actually wear to a festival. So this is outfits that anybody and everyone can wear. So they're a little bit more jazzy, a little bit funky. Most of the festivals happen over the summertime, so they're nice and lightweight and they're freeing, just nice summer clothes. But just with a little bit of a funky twist and what I would personally wear if I was to go to a festival. So let's get straight into the first look. This is the first look that I am wearing and even though this is a festival inspired look and lookbook, I would just wear this in the summer minus a couple of accessories. And these are some gorgeous patterned flary pants. They are a palazzo slash a flare style and they're a lovely slinky material with a nice paisley print orange, blues, loads of different summer colours in there. These are actually from an independent boutique, but I will leave links to similar items down below. So if y'all want to check out things for yourself, then you can do that. So if I can't find the exact item of clothing, then I will link some similar ones for you. And then I've paired it with this Bardo off the shoulder top. Now this is actually a denim look top with a zip up the middle. And I got this when I was in America from Aero Pastel. Again, I'll leave this one or similar link down below for you. And I think this paired with the trousers just looks perfect. It's that denim blue colour which complements the deeper blues in the pants. It's also a crop top and the pants are high waisted. So you're just showing a little bit of skin but not too much. It does actually come quite a way down so it's not too cropped but it's definitely still a crop top. And then the three quarter sleeves just mean you're a little bit covered up if it was a little bit of a cooler day as well. Now I think accessories is where it really comes into its own for festival outfits. So I've paired this new star necklace which I picked up recently from Asda with a big body chain also in gold and this one's from Matalan. I think the two necklaces together work really well. Again, the body chains are always the rage in the summer and for festivals and beach parties, they always just make your outfits look so glamorous and a little bit funky. And then the brace that I have paired it with is this one and this is actually from Swarovski and this was a free gift with purchase, although you can purchase them separately. There is also a lot of copies about like this. So I have one in grey and also a tan one which aren't Swarovski. And this is just glitzy and glamorous and it's that kind of stacked bracelet kind of vibe which always looks nice for festivals and the summertime. So this is outfit number one. Now moving on to outfit number two. This is a look that I would describe as boho rock chick. So this is actually an outfit that I wore last summer and it's a style that I absolutely love personally. So it is this beautiful orange play suit and this is from Glamorous. And again, it's that kind of paisley print. And like I say, it's the orange colour with some nice purples and greens in there. And this just screams festival to me. When I think of festival, I do think of those more boho kind of vibes. I know in recent years, it's kind of leaned towards the more like metal work and glitters and things like that. But I always think back to like five years ago when boho was a big trend. That's what I think of festivals and I think that's what's the most wearable as well. So this would be perfect for that. Now this would definitely be on a warmer day because this is a very short play suit. I'll be frank, it does. And it's that material that tends to shrink in the wash as well. So when you, if you get this one or you have anything in this kind of crepey material, make sure you stretch it out afterwards because this needs to go in the wash again to be stretched that little bit. And then I've paired it with this leather jacket, which I think gives it that more cool edge. So it's taking it away from being too glitzy and girly boho and you're really toughening it up a little bit so it's got some nice stud detail on the collars and then it does have this embroidery all over it as well and it's matching the colours on the play suit nicely and then it does have a big embellishment on the back as well and this is from TK Maxx there are so many embroidered leather jackets out there it doesn't have to be embroidered specifically just a rock chick studded jacket would look amazing and then down on my feet as well I've paired it with some black fringed boots now footwear is going to really depend on where you're going what type of festival it is what the weather's like 
I think boots would be a really good option. Especially if it's going to be muddy, then they're just going to be so easy to wipe down and clean. And I especially love these fringe ones. I have to say, I'm really sorry, these are so old. These are from Primark, a good five years at least ago. And they've always been one of my favourite pair of shoes, but I hardly ever wear them because they are from Primark and really don't want to ruin them, which I know is silly. But when I did get them at first, I wore them so much. And again, I think the fringing detail just looks really cool, funky, a little bit edgy. It's not something that everyone else is going to do. So as a whole, I think this look is perfect and I would definitely rock this myself. Now moving on to outfit number three, and I think this is the most basic of outfits. This is something that everybody is already going to have in their wardrobe. So everyone has a black camisole, or you can pick them up for really cheap. And it's really simple to jazz it up with a statement pair of shorts. Patterned shorts, embellished shorts, shorts are the way to go. Everybody loves them. They're a lot easier than dresses or skirts because they allow you to move freely. And the shorts that I'm wearing are actually from a little boutique in America. And that is one of my big tips as well. If you're looking for some interesting and different pieces, check out the local boutiques because they often have prints and styles that you're not going to find on the high street and that you know that someone else at the festival is definitely not going to be wearing. So make sure you're checking out your local independent boutiques for some amazing finds. So pairing your shorts and the simple black cami together Yep, you think, okay, not too amazing. Again, it's all in the accessories. So I put on this, I think this is called like a fedora. This is a lilac colour and I got this one from Forever 21. This is one of my favourite styles of hats. I think they can suit anyone. Depending on your face shape, you can wear it lower down, you can wear it a little bit more back and a little bit more trendy. Just find something that works for you. And then I've paired it with a statement necklace because the black top is so basic, you can really, really jazz up your accessories. So this is a gorgeous statement necklace this is from Primark. This was £6. I actually got this for my Hindu and I wore it with a bikini. I know, extra. But it is a really good talking piece and it makes you look like you've put more effort into your look. And then I've also just paired it with some silver bracelets as well because it does have silver detail on here. I thought we'd keep it quite simple with the bracelets. I have laid a couple, again just to give it that boho kind of vibe. And then I've just put some plain black ankle booties on the bottom. So this is going to be perfect for whatever kind of climate you're in. Mud it's going to be perfect for. You could also pair it with some little wellies. Any colour that would match your outfit would be amazing. last this is my ultimate festival outfit and it is my favorite if I ever do go to a festival this is what I'm going to wear so I would say this is a completely glamorous festival outfit and I could definitely see somebody rocking this with some like glitter or face gems but if you're not about that then you could just do it as it is so it's this embellished bodysuit and this is embellished with beading and sequins and this one is from misguided it's from their peace and love collection and it is a long sleeve top as well and it is a bodysuit so it tucks into everything super tight and nice then i've paired it with some plain high-waisted denim shorts these ones are from Topshop and they're that really cheeky one, so they come really high up on your leg. Really flattering paired with the little booties that I've got on, and these do have a heel, but they're a chunky heel, so you will be okay. And I thought the purple colour went really well with this big kimono. This is from Oh My Love, and it is just such a stunning piece. It's really lightweight, so it's not going to add any extra protection to you. So if it's a really hot day, it's not going to keep you too hot or anything like that. It's going to allow for a nice breeze. And it's just, it's really cool. I think it would look awesome in pictures. It's got these lovely, like, long, drapey sleeves. And then every time you walk, it just swishes. As you can see now, I just want to keep swishing it everywhere. And yeah, there's not much more to be said about this look other than I love it. I'm in love. This is definitely what I will be wearing if I ever go to a festival. And that completes my festival lookbook. 
four outfits that you can wear to a festival. They're not over the top. You're going to be getting in the festival spirit, but they are definitely wearable. Please give the video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. I'd love for you to subscribe and join the Hair Life family. I do upload four videos every single week. Make sure you get your suggestions in the comments down below and what you'd like to see more of on my channel. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!